Successful people relationship is a great raw material in the journey of destiny fulfillment. You can only go up when people above you decide to pull you up or God decides to pull you up himself. And people below you will not allow you to come down when you are always kind to them or you are good to God Almighty. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 22. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 22. New American Standard Bible. What is desirable in a man is his kindness. And it is better to be poor man than a liar. What is desirable in a man in his kindness. And it is better to be poor man than a liar. Based on this, I welcome you today for stepping up, and my name is still Sebastian in one area, and we are looking at the new trend called people part three. The new trend called people part three, I just want to appreciate everybody that have been part of this telecast, that have been part of this series, and your feedback has been awesome. Your prayers, encouragement, and your questions have been highly encouraging. May the Lord Almighty bless and perform greatly upon your life and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. let's listen to the following announcement for July program, July 2024 program. The following announcement goes to us on the 13th of July, 2024. We have the tongues of enthronement with the team, the Garment of Warfare Part 2, Garment of Warfare Part 2, and the program is at Ikeja. It's free before the end of the program. My email address and my details will be on your screen. Pick it up and let us discuss from that platform. And on the 20th of July, 20th of July, uh, 2024, we have the Mind Development Workshop. Mind Development Workshop with the team, the Mind Warfare, the Mind Warfare uh, coming up at Ikeja. And it's also free before the end of the program. My details will be on your screen for us to discuss from those platforms. Please don't come alone. Try and come with your friends, family, and even <laughs> your well, your well wishes. Try not to be alone, and not to, not to come alone, and just do as you do. God Almighty bless you greatly in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we'll be looking at this series and discourse for a while, and it has been interesting, it has been uh, thought-provoking to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. One of the viewers called and asked that pastor, uh, uh, um, 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 I said, one of the people I ran the, uh, the topic through said, Pastor, really, is this the power of people? I said, yes, people itself have power within themselves, given to them by God Almighty. But most of us have not come into the know and the learning of it. So we read our text, which is Luke chapter 13, verses 6 to 9. Luke chapter 13, verses 6 to 9. He also spoke a parable talking about Jesus. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. Then, verse 7, he said to the, to the keeper of his vineyard, look, for, for three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and found none. Cut it down. Why does it use up the ground? So what is the use of your mind when you can't produce? That's what Jesus was saying. What is the use of your mind? I said, I said the power of knowledge is application. So, so, so you know a lot and you, you are not applying it. So what's the use of the knowledge on your head? Verse 8, but he answered and said to him, so let it alone this year also until I dig around it and fertilize it. Nine. And if it bears fruit, well, but if not, after that, you can cut it down. May the grace of God grant us intelligence. And may you be a doer of all you are hearing in the name of Jesus Christ. This season of the new trend, new trend called people, will cause a great shift in your life and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. As people are ladder, as people are ladder, as people... Are what are gap fillers? Are people are an announcement of a new face coming into you? Heaven has brought in new faces into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Heaven have made you to attract nutrients by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have been having funny people around you before now, 
heaven have replaced it in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Isaiah 49 verse 20 has become a reality. Isaiah 49 and 20 has become a reality. God has caused new people to come into your life after you have lost those old people. God has caused new people to come into your life. God has caused new relationships to come into your life. God has caused new fellowship to come into your life. God has caused new friendship to come into your life. Friendship of vital value, friendship of important impact has come into your space, into your life, into your face in the name of Jesus Christ. Enhancers has come into your life. Enhancers, influencers, impactors has come into your life to move you and shift the work of your hand to the next level, beyond your level of comprehension, beyond your level of understanding by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Whoever that devil has planted in your life, has planted in your midst to bring confusion, to bring confusion, to bring tiredness, to cause to behave as a parasite, to be toxic, to be toxic around you. We approach them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Fulfilling Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. Matthew chapter 15, verse 13 that says, Every tree my father has not planted has been uprooted from the root in the name of Jesus Christ. They will dig around and add fertilizer. So we are going to look in this episode the purpose and objective of the nutrient called people. Why, why are we talking about the nutrient called people? Why did I choose? Why did I choose to discuss about this? We are going to look at the reason behind them. Number one of them is that God never designed anybody to succeed alone. God never designed anybody to be alone. You can't even succeed alone. God has never designed anybody to be alone, and you cannot succeed alone. No man is an island. No man is an island. Those of us that claim to be introvert, introvert people who are introvert, introvert people are people that, join, that enjoy being alone, enjoying being alone. <laughs> is what is making you to claim to be an introvert or to make you think you enjoy being alone is what? Is because of some pain that people have caused some harm, some pain, some hurt. Your past, don't allow your past to control your presence. Don't allow your past. See, let me explain. There are people that like to be alone once in a while. I like being alone. I like working alone. But that does not make me to be an introvert. After I finish what I'm doing, after I finish the task, the assignment, the objective, as I, as I, after I finish the task, I like mixing up with people. There are times I've read, I've prepared, I've overstudied. You still like coming to be in the midst of people. That's, that's the thing. In extrovert are people that what? That enjoy being around people, enjoy being with people. That is why Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. This is not a marriage statement. It's not a marriage statement alone. It is not only for marriage. God said it is not good for man. It is not good for people to be alone. I will make them a helper. So you can't succeed alone. You can't achieve things alone. Number two, number two, we have seen clearly that God designed us never to stay alone. God designed us. Listen, no matter, no grammar can substitute this. No matter what. No, look, let me tell you, you don't want to marry, you don't want to stay around anybody, old age is coming. You cannot self-bury yourself. <laughs> you can't bury yourself by yourself. You can't, you can't do anything for yourself by yourself. You can't even... <laughs> Number two, God Almighty, in his power and wisdom, designed men and women to have the ability within themselves to be able to connect, interact with each other, connect and interact with each other. Never underestimate the power of sound people relationship. Never underestimate the power of sound people relationship. If you are not inspired in your life journey, it is because the people in your inner circle don't inspire you. When you, when you are not inspired, you aspire easily. When you are not inspired, you aspire easily. When you are not inspired, you aspire easily. When there is nobody inspiring you to the next level, very soon you will be inspired. That will not be our passion. 
portion in the name of Jesus Christ. When you don't have people that inspire you from your what? From your circle of influence, that means you are already in your cage. You can be in a cage when your inner circle don't inspire you. You can be in a cage when your inner circle don't do not inspire you. You can be in the cage. You can be in the cage. You can be in the cage. That's why the Bible made us to understand that there are conditions when you come together. Can two work together except they, they agree? Amos chapter 3, verse 3. There is a law of agreement that brings unity. A law of agreement brings unity. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. It says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Two are better than one. 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 Matthew chapter 18, verses 19 to 20. Matthew chapter 18, verses 19 to 20. Again, 19. I say to you that if two of you agree on this earth consigning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am in their midst. Are you, can you see that God Almighty comes when the minimum number of unity of two are there? He comes in. But God hardly comes in when one, one person is there. Uh, uh, number three, number three, we are looking at the purpose and objective behind the topic, which is the nutrient called people. One of them is that God does not want us to be alone. Number two, God created us for what? For relationship. God did not create us for isolation. God created us for relationship. Number three, God designed the law of production and performance to be connected to people. God designed the law of production and performance to be connected to people. Production of, production of result and success is connected to the interaction of two or more people in one accord, in one vision, in one dream. Your greater or your great ideas, great vision, great dreams need other people to become a reality. You are a seed bearer, an idea carrier, an, an idea carrier, sorry. You are a seed carrier, you are a seed generator, you are a seed producer. You need a womb, you need a land, a soil to plant the seed. You need a womb. That's why men are seed carrier. Women produces, uh, 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 women brings their womb to nurture the seed. Your great idea and vision cannot succeed or stand on its own. No parents can produce a child alone without the aid of his what of the other partner. No parents. Proverb 29, 18. Proverb 29, 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Proverb 14, 28. Proverb 14, 28. In a multitude of people is a king honored. In a multitude of people is a king honored. But in the lack of people is the downfall of a prince. Number four. Number four. It is, it is to show the importance of connecting and interacting with others. It is to show the importance of connecting and interacting with others. To relate, interact, associate, connect with others and other people is the key to success of any venture and endeavor in the life of anybody. You have to learn how to get people involved in what you are doing. Listen, listen, uh, let me jump my note and say something. I will say it and then we come to the understanding where we get to that, to that position because it is powerful. Your life journey is, is just like a building project that needs different people, needs different relationship interaction from beginning to the end. Building a house is like our life journey. The nutrient called people is like our life journey of building a house or building a project. Building a house, the, the, the relationship from, from beginning of the process to the end is different. People that clear the ground or clear the place on the construction site is different from people that lay the foundation. People that lay the foundation are different from people that does the finishing. So in people relationship, we have upper upward relationship, we have horizontal relationship, we have downward relationship, and we have what? Stranger relationship. 
Ecclesiastes chapter 4, 9 to 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, 9 to 12. Two are better than one because of, two are better than one, verse 9, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fail, one will lift up his companion, but woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. 11. Again, if two lies together, they will keep warm, but how can one be warm alone? 12. Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. Number five, point five, point five. It is, it is to show that the foundational platform for a successful people relationship is agape love. The foundational platform for a successful people relationship is what? Is agape love. Proverbs 17, 17. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all time, and a brother is born for adversity. A friend loves at all time, a brother is born for adversity. John chapter 15, verse 13. John chapter 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Agape love is to think of the collective good of others and not yourself. It is to express an unconquerable benevolence, unconquerable kindness to others, among other things to do. Number six, because I'm trying to let you understand there is an important purpose of, of what? Of the nutrient called, called people. Number six, it is to reveal the strength of people relationship via the understanding of what? Social intelligence and emotional intelligence. <clears throat> the combination of your ability to socialize, mastering your emotion, keeping your feelings and emotion in church, controlling your emotion, breathing your emotion, taming your emotion, is what? Is what strengthens your people relationship capacity, your people relationship ability. Listen, not socializing, Kisha Krapata Kopolo Brigaba, not socializing is not a game. Not socializing is not an advantage. Listen, let me balance it well. I'm not talking about socializing for you to go to, <laughs> to parties and clubs and get drunk and misbehave. I'm talking about you interacting, you being there for others, you showing up for others, you, 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 you speaking up for others, you caring for others, you taking everything beyond yourself, not only for yourself, but for that of others. Jesus came and died for others. Jesus said, I came not to be served, but to serve people. Are you serving people or you're serving your stomach? Are you serving people or you're serving yourself? Are you serving people or you are serving your family? Are you serving people or you are serving your future? <clears throat> Learn how to serve people. It's a privilege. Let me tell you, let me tell you. The abuse and the misuse of opportunity of serving others in Africa should reduce, should stop. It's lack of agape love. It's lack of feeling. It's lack of caring for others. Is exhibited everywhere. It shows up everywhere. Some people are driving on the road and they see the friend. They decide of them to pull, pull off the road, clear properly and do your greeting. They don't respect other people value for the usage of the road. Other people time. They just stay there. You will now be honking your horn. You'll be honking to ah. You are honking. Because you need to come and understand how to socialize. Some people will tell you with all confidence, I don't attend parties. OK, no problem. One day you two, you want to do your own party, and you expect people to, to come. And when, you want, and when you organize your own party, and people don't come or turn out, you will, you will do what? You will know what it means. Let's say, let me stay balance it. I'm not telling you because Pastor have said this one all in the name of socialization. You will go and start socializing and be distracted on your assignment, and you will lose focus, you will lose concentration, and you will lose what? You will lose um, 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 
interest in your core assignment. There's something called the law of balance. Learn to understand, learn to operate, learn to work with what is known, what is called as law of balance. That is where you have to now master your emotion, master what? Social intelligence. You master it. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. What did you see? He says, a man who has friends must himself be friendly. Make yourself to be friendly. Why? But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. I know, I know an elderly, I know an elderly woman when we talk. <laughs> she was telling me from when she was young up till now that she doesn't like traveling abroad. Why? She said she, said she doesn't like their lifestyle. That how can she be at a place she won't know how her neighbor is fed? <laughs> how her neighbor is fed? How can she be at a place that she 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 wouldn't know what is happening? Yes, yes. In fact, in fact. In fact, I, I, I came to realize what he's saying because I live beside a, a, young, a young guy is living be, be beside me uh, uh, alone. At times, I, I don't hear anything from his place. I don't, I don't hear any movement, don't hear anything, no sound, no movement, nothing. I'm compelled to either chat him if I don't see any response. I call, I call, I call him if he's not picking and responding. I try to bang his gate to find out if he's okay, if he's okay, if he's okay. So that is, is the thing. What we are talking about is learn to be social, learn to be emotionally in charge of your feeling. Point seven, point seven. It is to reveal the dynamics, behavior, character, and attitude of people per time. We are trying to see, look, that's why I'm telling you, we said that the, what we are discussing about is the nutrient called people. Everybody is not a nutrient. Everybody is not nutritious. <laughs> Everybody is not a nutrient. Everybody is not nutritious. <laughs> some people are nutrient, while some people are parasite, and while the others are what? Are toxic. They contaminate things. Others are toxic. Others are toxic. People are always a double-edged sword, having the good, having the good, bad, and the ugly. People are either an asset or a liability. People are either a, a, a nutrient or a parasite. People are either a blessing or a cause. People, people are either one thing or the other. You need to come to the realization and the understanding of where they fall. You find out what are they, what are these people. What are they doing? What is their reference? What are their strength? They're either good or bad. They're either good or bad. They're either good or bad. The same way a manner, people have a nutrient. People, the same way a manner, you have nutrient people. The same way a manner, you have what? Uh, a parasite and toxic people. I've said that. Don't allow the toxic and the parasite or damage and hurting people to do what? To transform you, to change you, to become who you are not. Listen, hurting people hurt others. Painful people create and causes pain everywhere they go. Don't be carried away when you see the attitude, the toxic attitude of us, all others, the toxic behavior of others, the toxic value of others, the toxic relationship of others, the, to the toxic thinking pattern of others, the toxic mindset of others, the toxic belief system of others. Don't be carried away. Don't be angry. Don't be pained. Just believe God for them. Intercede unto God for them, for them to change, for, for them to change. Just look at what I'm saying. Classics of people relationship. Classic of, of people relationship and their response. Hear this. Weak people always revenge. Weak people always revenge. Find out the class you are in this and do what? And change. We are talking about the purpose and the objective behind the nutrient called people. The purpose and the objective behind the nutrient called people here. Weak people always revenge. Weak people always revenge. 
Strong people always forgive. Strong people always forgive. What is forgiveness? Ability to express abundance of love to others. Ability to extend your inner love to others. That is forgiveness. Strong people, they do what? They forgive. So it is weak people that's always revenging. Weak people don't forgive. Yes, yes. When you listening to me out there, you don't like forgiving people. You are weak. You are mentally weak. You are spiritually weak. You are emotionally weak. You are emotionally weak. You are emotionally weak. Mentally weak. You are, you are soulishly weak. You are soulishly weak. Number three, intelligent people always ignore things. 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 Number four, spiritual people, spiritual people, they pray about it and every other thing. They pray about all things. Instead of you ignoring things, just pray about it. Just pray about it. Commit, to the, commit it into the hand of the Lord Almighty. Commit it into the hand of the Lord Almighty. The presence of some kind of people will either make you or mind you, will either grow you or diminish you. The presence of some kind of people in your life. The presence of some kind of people will either make you or mind you. The presence of some people in your life will either grow you or what? Diminish you. Proverbs chapter 20. Sorry. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. He who walks with the wise grows wise. I like this. This is NIV. NIV. He who walks wise. He who walks with the wise grow wise. But a companion of fools suffers what harm. He who walks with the wise grows wise. And companion of the fool does what? Suffers harm. The companion. The companion of the fool suffers. Suffers what? Suffers harm. The companion of the fool. They do what? They suffer. They suffer harm. May God Almighty grant us unusual intelligence in the name of, of, of Jesus. So we are looking at the experience impact of people relationship. The experience impact of people relationship. Note, everybody is not a nutrient. I'm saying this for what? For emphasis. I can't be tired of saying this. Let it enter into your subconscious mind. Let it enter into your subconscious mind, creating a consciousness in your mind that, listen, it's not everybody that are nutrient. It's not everybody that are parasite. It's not everybody that is toxic. When you meet a toxic person, you know that there's a kind person somewhere. When you meet a good person, you know that there's also a bad person. So you know how to thank God better when you have that good friend, when you have that nice friend, that caring friend, that friend that adds to you. You thank God for making it possible for you to attract kind people and not allow the bad people to come into your life and space. We are going to go on break now. Don't change that dial. I will be back after this short break. Heavens International Center. I believe that what you see and hear here will arouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God using what you see here as a point of contact with your miracle. Welcome back to Stepping Up. My name is Sir Sebastian. We are looking at the nutrient called people, part three. 
Nutrient Core people, battery, if you are just joining, I don't forget our July program announcement. On the 13th of July at Ikeja, we're having tongues of enrollment with the part two of Garment of Warfare, Garment of Warfare part two, and on the 28th of the same, uh, on the 20th of the same July, 20 of July, uh, 2024, we still have our mind development uh, workshop with the team, the Mind Warfare Part 2. Mind Warfare Part 2 and both programs are free before the end of this telecast. My numbers and details will be on your screen for us to discuss on that platform. And as we do, God Almighty bless you greatly in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I, I just I was, before we went on break, I was talking about us taking note of this statement that I've been saying repeatedly. The, the, S, the, S, uh, the repetition is for emphasis for us to be conscious of that statement of what? Everybody is not a nutrient. Everybody is not a nutrient. But most people are what? Parasites. Some people are, I mean, some people are parasites. Some people are parasites. Some people are parasites. And some people are what? Toxic. So when you have toxic people around you, thank God for God to push them away and bring in what? And bring in the nutrient. And when you have nutrient around you, what do you do? You say, thank God for not allowing the parasite or the toxic people to come around you. So you will need to learn, know, and understand how to cultivate and develop the skill set, skill sense, skill sight to recognize these kind people or kind men among the crowd. You must recognize them. You must develop that skill. You must develop that social skill. You must develop that ability to make that relationship call, that judgment call. That judgment call is key. I'm going to give you some example. Like some people are light while others are darkness. Some people are light while others are darkness. How do you differentiate someone that is a light and someone that is a darkness? Some people are good or best while some are bad or worse. Some people are blessings why others are causes. Some people are helpers. Why others are harmful or, or, or are harmful people. Now, some people are encouragers. Why others are discouragement. Some people are lovers. Why others are haters. Some people are nice. Why <laughs> some, some people are nice. Why others are wicked. Some people are saint. Why others are evil. Some people are saint. Why others are evil. Some people are ladders. Why others are world. Some people are ladders, why others are world. Some people are doorways or pathways, why others are blockage or obstacle. Some people are doorways and pathways, why others are blockage and obstacle. Blockage and obstacle. Blockage and obstacle. Blockage and obstacle. Why some people are always joyful and rejoicing, why others are sad, always sad and worried. Always sad and worried. Some people are asset while others are liability. Some people are asset while others are liability. Some people come to add to you genuinely, intentionally, resourcefully and resourcefully. And some people are what? They are there happily taken away from you without any remorse. <laughs> while some people are what? Influencers. Some people are influencers and enhancers while others are blanket and coverings. Why others are blanket are coverings? Why others are blanket and coverings? Number 14, some people are what? Are genuine and real, while others are fake. Some people are genuine and real, while others are fake. Some people are what? Are introvert, while others are introvert. Some people are extrovert, sorry. Some people are extrovert, while some people are introvert. Some people are extrovert, while some people are what? Are introvert, 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 introvert. Pastor, we appreciate. You have to come to the understanding and the dynamics of what we are talking about for you to feel this. Now, let's move. The character dynamics in people relationship, the, the, the character, the behavior of people, the attitude of people, the attitude of people, the behavior of people, attitude of people. Mm. 
Let's try to see what you have in your text message. Deborah. This is Deborah from Enugu State. He said, Pastor, you are doing a very wonderful job. I, I appreciate what you are doing. I have learned so much. In fact, I've told my friends about it. But I have a question. Pastor, how can one cope with someone that is not making you to be happy? How can you cope with the person? Okay. You didn't tell me the person that is making you to be unhappy. Is it your partner? Is it your friend? If it's your friend, you can easily you avoid the friend. You walk away from the friend. You avoid the friend seriously. But if it's your partner, the Lord will grant you intelligence in that. What do you do? What do you do? Look, the, 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 you are trying to get the happiness from external. I'll come back to my story. External, learn to create that happiness from, from, from within you. Learn to create that joyfulness from within you. In fact, the word you use, happiness, still, still refers to the word external, external. Because according to Romans chapter 5, verse 5, the Spirit of God promised us joyfulness from inside. The joy of the Lord comes from inside because joy and rejoicing is Spirit of God. It's, is the spirit of God inspired. It comes from inside of you, not outside. It comes from inside of you. It, inside, inside, it's inside of you. So, Sister Deborah, just have this understanding that make yourself to be happy. Make yourself to be happy. Make yourself. Don't, don't tie your happiness or your joy or your positive emotion around the external, around until you have this kind of thing. That's where you are going to make yourself to be joyful or happy. No, 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 no. You are happy because you are alive. You are happy because God loves you. You are happy because God has shown you scriptural, uh, 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 scriptures. David said, I think, David said in Psalm 119, verse 162, Psalm 119, verse, he said, I rejoiced when I, as one that found exploit, when I found your law. I rejoiced just because the revelation he discovered, that revelation gave him joy as somebody that I found something great and mighty. As somebody that has found something great, um, it's, your, it's, it's your joy. It's your responsibility. Don't shift it. Don't, don't, don't give the external, that power. Take back your power. Your power of positive emotion. Your power of positive rejoicing. Take it back. It's your responsibility. When you say, until your husband make you happy before you can be happy, you are, you are seeding that power. You are giving that power over yourself to the external. And whatever the external like, you can do with it. It can start remoting you and placing you under control. So what you need to do is learn to be joyful for yourself. Learn to be rejoiceful for yourself from within you. Whatever anybody does, that's their problem. Learn to see yourself as the important person on earth is yourself. The best stuff you need to do is yourself. Your vote is the best and the last kind and form of vote you can ever need in the journey of your life. So learn to work in that reality. Learn to work in that consciousness. Learn to work in that understanding. Don't you ever seed your joy and your positive emotion to the environment. Instead, let your positive vibe, your positive joy, your positive emotion reflect and influence the environment. This is Kenneth Amichi, the pastor. You are doing a wonderful job. I just want to tell you thank you. I say God bless you for everything you have done and everything you have been saying in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. This is another one. This is another one. Uh, Akwan, Akwan Ubong from Calabar. Akwan Ubong from Calabar. I want to appreciate you, Pastor, for your kind teaching and your expository language. I appreciate you all. God bless you. This is Jasper. Jasper from Abuja. Pastor, I used, I, I used to get angry easily and I used to destroy things, but listening to you have giving me the insight into my problem. So, Pastor, how can you help me with my problem? Okay. Jasper, just, 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 at least you have been listening to what we are saying. Just take responsibility of the anger. Don't transfer it. It's not because of somebody. 
did this to you, that's why you are angry. Just make up your mind that, look, I want to be nice. I want to change. I want to be kind to people. I want to be a new person. I want to be a new creation. I, I, I want to see value in others. I want to now be in charge, in control of my feeling, in charge and in control of my emotion. I don't want to allow my emotion to control me. I want to control my emotion. I can't just wake up, speak anyhow, behave anyhow, talk to people anyhow. I want to be in charge and in command of my, my feeling from henceforth. Come to God in prayer. And the Spirit of the Most High God will strengthen you from within. Grant your unusual intelligence. Grant your unusual insights. Start speaking. Because the key word is um, start speaking to yourself. Scriptures. Get scriptures. Uh, the Lord have not given me. Um, um, the Lord have not given me the spirit of fear. The Lord have not given me the spirit of anger. The anger lies in the bosom of the fool. I am not a fool. I behave accurately. I am in charge, in control of my feelings. No matter the situation and circumstances, I respond calmly. I respond with joy and interest. I respond with joy and favorability. That, that as you start declaring all those things, you are going to be shocked at the transformative response that your body will feel. Why? Because James chapter 3, James chapter 3, verses 2 to 4, James chapter 3, verses 2 to 4, he made us to understand that, that whosoever that does not, whosoever that does not feel. In, in the usage of his tongue is matured, that you use the tongue to control every part of your body. He went to give us example that how do you control a horse? You control the horse by putting a bead in his mouth. In his mouth means that you are controlling what he says. You are controlling when he opens up his mouth and what he says part time. And as you do, that Lord Almighty bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Chinyenye Amadi. This is Chinyenye Amadi. The pastor, I appreciate what you are doing. God Almighty bless you. You have been so interesting. And what? And transformative. Listening to you. Thank you and God bless you. This is Pauline Adams. Pollute Adams from Lagos. See, see this is um, the second or third time I'm watching your program, sir. I, I love your concept. I love your ideology, and I love your teaching. Pastor, grant me this answer. How can I be better than the way I am? I am always angry. I'm always nagging. What do I do? To become better. The first of all is um, what are the things that make you to be angry? What are the things that cause your anger? First, let if you are married, you didn't mention that aspect. If you are married, let your spouse know those things that causes and make you to be angry and let them uh, encourage them to stop those things that causes and make you to be angry. You can say, Pastor, you are going to look at it at the external. Then number two, which is the key, you prayerfully ask the Spirit of God to come inside of you and grant you special grace to control this anger and control the way you respond to people. That Lord Almighty have not given us the spirit of anger or the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Make up your mind to show people kindness. Be affirmative in your confession. Be affirmative in, skip, in speaking the word of God to yourself. I... I, 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 I um, no matter the external situation and circumstances, they cannot change my mood. They cannot change my disposition towards others. They cannot change my disposition towards my husband. I walk in the consciousness of the understanding of my position in God. I am a child of God. I am a person of God. I walk in the reality and the consciousness of God. Let that instant, let that impact reside inside of you richly in all your expressive action. Let it be there. And, and at times, uh, people hurt you, go back, despise, uh, despise or, 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 or um, 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 bottle that energy, that negative emotional energy. Take it to the place of prayer. You can scream at, you can scream in prayer, you can shout in prayer, let it loose. If you can speak in tongue, you can burst in tongue and pray in tongue for that energy, that negative energy, that bad blood, that bad pain, 
to get out of your system. And at the end of the day, you gradually see, and this is not something that just happened uh, within 24 hours. It's a process. You can be rising and falling. My number will be on your screen shortly. Um, um, take those number, take my detail, and let's continue this discourse because I want to be part of this journey with you. I want to be part of this journey. In fact, I want to be part of this journey with you. A lot of Christians don't want people to be part of the journey. It is it's, um, it's a mentorship process. It's, a, it's an exciting process. When things happen, you don't understand. When things happen, you don't know the meaning. You can't interpret, you can't explain. And you have a higher body of authority explaining and encouraging you. It brings a sense of relief and a sense of what? Appreciation. And as you do, I believe God Almighty to do what? To grant you unusual intelligence to his glory and to the shame of, uh, of the devil. I know that my time is well spent. Can I take one more? Can I take one more? Can I take one more? Pastor, this is Godwin from Abuja. I appreciate what you are doing. You are absolutely well. You are my pastor and a great teacher. I want to find out how can we pass this information or this understanding to our children? Because I see there's one of my daughter that has a tendency of, of, of rebelling, rebelling once in a while. And we are trying to like get him in check and we've been praying towards that. We will appreciate your own input. Yes, the best way to influence those children is um, is is um, is what is modeling it, behaving it, not only telling, not only this, uh, not only telling or teaching, not only explaining it with them, not only shouting it. You model it. Let them see you model it. You model it. One of the one of the most effective way of training children is when they learn by observation. When they learn by observation, they see you. That will ever remain in their heart. Please, parents out there, that's one of the ways. The Bible says, train up the child in the way he should go. Proverbs 22, 6. Proverbs 22, 6. And when he grows up, he will not depart from it. He will not. That training is not only speaking. You model it because it is only those that are trained that can train people. It is only those that are trained can train people. A, you can't become a good leader until you are a good follower. So you are following Christ, imitating Christ, and modeling Christ. It will enable them to see how you model it, to, to, to see, and for you to do what? To learn, to show them first-hand information, first-hand practice, first-hand teaching for them to know how to respond and behave in a productive and impactful um, manner. Productive and impactful manner. Uh, and as you do that, you'll be shocked at those responses. And again, be ready because they might ask you questions. They will ask you questions, not might. They will ask you questions. And, and you'll be seeing a lot of dynamics because now they'll be closer. Now they will open up. Now they will now come and pay, uh, and pay attention to you. So you give them attention and, and, and do what? And, and give them sincere answer. And the truth of the matter the one you can't answer, don't lie to them. And don't give them wrong answer when you don't know the answer. Don't lie to them. Don't give them wrong answer. Because if you give them wrong answer and they fail, they won't come back to you again. And if, they, if you give them a uh, wrong answer, if you give them things that are not legit or authentic, they will not want to come back to you again. They will, just, they will start making jest of you. And I don't pray for such to you in the name of, 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 of Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Let's one more, one more, one more. These are just prayers. These are just are just prayers. This is goodwill. Goodwill. Um Anno CK. Wow. Goodwill Anno CK from Delta. Goodwill Anno CK. Pastor, you are doing a great job. I want to sincerely appreciate your teaching. And I want to say God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Vivian. Vivian Adetunji. Vivian Adetunji from Ekpe. From Ekpe. Pastor, I like what you are doing. I, I love it. God Almighty strengthen you and grant you unusual grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, which other one? Matthew Adebayo. Matthew Adebayo. Matthew Adebayo from Lagos. 
Pastor, you have been doing an awesome God. Heaven will increase your anointing more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, what is this? This is being we a day shokwe. Being we a day shokwe from Ondo, from Ondo State. Pastor, I want to appreciate you. You have been excellently nice and sincere in your teaching. Thank you for blessing us. God bless you too in the name of, of Jesus Christ. Mm. This is Mirabet, Mirabet Onyebulam, Mirabet Onyebulam from Imo State. Mirabet Onyebulam from Imo State. He said, Pastor, you have been doing a great job, but how do one move from one level of, one level of um, pain and stop it there? From spreading. How do you move from one level of pain and stop it there from spreading? It's forgiveness. It's coming into the understanding of forgiveness, coming into the act of forgiveness, for you to come into the act of forgiveness, transformative forgiveness. You learn to forgive people, understand how to forgive. Remember, forgiveness is, is the presence of abundance of love inside of you. Because look, when you don't forgive the person, it's a double edged sword. In fact, you are, you, are, you are the receiving end. When you don't forgive, everything rises or falls on you. You are the one that is angry. You are the one that is bitter. The person that you are holding grudge against might not even remember that you are holding grudge against him. The person that you are even angry at is bubbling and moving. And the more you see the person, it's... It, <coughs> It's a heart pain. It's a heart pain. It gives you chest pain. It might even lead to strokes. I don't know your age. So, so, so it is better and cheaper and easier to let go. Let go and let God. The pain is severe, yes. Let go and let God. In fact, if you are a pastor, it's part of the ministry. It's part of Christianity and it's part of the assignment. Jesus Christ was insulted. Jesus Christ was lied upon. Jesus Christ, people did all sorts to him, but yet he ignored them, yet he still moved on. And the Lord Almighty will grant you unusual grace and strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I know that you are, you are, you are, you are, you are wondering. Ade kunle idowu yano ekpaja. Ade kunle idowu yano ekpaja. Happy money. Happy money, Pastor. How do we get this material? How do we get this teaching? You are, <laughs> you are an eye-opener. I've learned a lot listening to you. More grace and more, and more glory. In Jesus' name. Yes. I've been saying just wait till the end of our um, telecast. The end of our telecast, get um, get our details and our contact, and let's discuss from that platform. And as we do, the Lord Almighty will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have the liberty to ask any question, and we are going to give you all the answers. Uh, uh, you need to now come to do what now? To understand that you take responsibility for the outcome of your life. You take serious responsibility. Not taking responsibility is a responsibility. You make up your mind, take responsibility for the outcome, and you walk towards it. Heaven will grant you your usual grace in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to stop here to continue from here the next episode, the part four, and the Lord Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. I just quickly want to appreciate the camera crew, uh, the engineering crew, and um, the people at the MCR, VCR, my producer, uh, people that have made this telecast a reality, my esteemed and wonderful viewer all over the globe. Thank you. Thank you for granting me access to your space, opening up your access to your, to your gadget, to your, to your sitting room. I, I, I want to appreciate you seriously for allowing me into, into your face. I say, God Almighty, bless you greatly in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm glad that your heart is open and you have been blessed beyond your widest imagination. And the last announcement, don't forget about the tongue of entrainment coming up on the 13th of July. 
2023 with the team Warfare Garment and uh, the Mind Development Workshop coming up on the 20th of July. Both programs are free. You can see my number now and details contact on your screen and the Lord Almighty bless you. Make up your mind to get any of these materials for your family. They will be a blessing to you and as you do, heaven will prosper you beyond your widest imagination in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Sebastian. When it is signing out, it I come your way, remain blissful and blissful in his presence. See you at the top. <laughs>